Yes, Sparrow, you Yo, what's up, bro? I'm very good. How are you doing, Sparrow? I'm really nice. Finally, we've got a new man. It's been a while since we last talked to you. How, how has it been going? How is Soroti? Uh, I'm actually in Kumi. That's, uh, that's my hometown. I, I've been in Soroti once in a while, mate. So, why, why do we affiliate with Soroti a lot? Yeah? Why do we affiliate with Soroti? So, you're in Kumi at the moment. How is Kumi? Kumi is pretty awesome. It's a, it's a silent town, peaceful, you know? Yes. I love it here. Uh, you love it there, definitely. You must love it there. Man, we are loving it here as well. Tell the people a little bit about Sparrow UG. Uh, so guys, uh, Sparrow UG is a rapper, a singer, songwriter, recording artist, and the CEO of Samalona Music Group. Okay, man, uh, that's nice. So each and everyone that's listening, man, you need to know Sparrow UG is in the building. Hip hop from Kumi stand up. It's a new G hip hop stand up. We are in the building, ladies and gentlemen. What tell us a little bit about the situation and the status of UG hip hop in in Kumi. Uh, in Kumi, like hip hop is kind of crazy here because it's not really the main genre, but I'm trying to push it to the top, and people are starting to embrace it. Like it's it's really catching up. What is the main genre guys listen to around Kumi? Uh, you know, guys mostly be around. Uh, yeah. Raga, Afrobeat, you know? Okay. Oh, they, they, they like the, uh, the Raga, Afrobeat, I'm a piano that's going on, everything that's going on. Yeah. yeah, 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 but like, uh, I kind of I kind of made them pay attention to hip-hop like that, because they'd be like, yo, there's uh, a boy around here that does it like the guys yeah. outside the country do it, so like, uh, it's catching up a little bit. Definitely, I like that, man. You know, being in a place that has a lot of Afrobeat, that has a lot of it and everything that's not influenced by hip-hop, what made you uh, come up and, you know, want to do this thing and push the hip-hop game? Man, I just I just love everything about hip-hop, man. I love the way it sounds. I, I love the fashion. I love... I was just trying to do something different, you know? I was just trying to do me. You just want to do you. You just want to be different. I like that. I definitely like that, man. Uh, man, thank you. With man like Sparrow, at NMS is a hashtag on Twitter if you want to get in touch. Let the people know your handle that's so they can touch you. Um, on Twitter, it's Sparrow UG, S-P-A-R-O-U-G. It's uh, the same on Instagram, Sparrow UG, S-P-A-R-O-U-G. The same on Facebook, the same. Uh, actually, on TikTok, it's Sparrow UG 256. Yeah, okay, man. We're going to be talking about TikTok later on. But I want to know, uh, what, who is in a Star UG team? Who is in your corner? Who do you write with? Who do you work with? Um, I work with a couple of friends. Uh, I don't really work with official people like that, you know? Okay. I connect with people that that are my friends and people who support me like that. Yeah, so, like, uh, if the vibe is, is right, then we'll definitely work. Yeah, I, I like that, man. Do you have, like, a management team going on? How are you pushing uh, your music on the ground? I don't know. It just happens like that. I don't really have a, a team like that. Like, when I put out a song and someone likes it, yeah. they always help me push it. It's mostly the fans and the people that, that love me as an artist, you know? I, I, I like that, man. So, man, big up to all the friends that support and, and push all our content and push the music and push the songs and everything that we usually bring up to them, man. Sparrow yeah, people, man. Father, I want us to talk about the song that we want. Well, we're going to play tonight. King of the Street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. King of the Street. What are you the king of, Sparrow? It's crazy because, like, uh, I feel like, you know, wherever I go and the people that know me as an artist, like, you know, they, they kind of put a crown on me. Not really that kind of crown, but a street crown. You get what I'm trying to say? Okay. Yeah, like, uh... The song is uh, says I'm royalty, but it also says that I'm street. That means uh, I'm ghetto as well, you know. So you you you're like what kind of king? Yeah, I'm like a, I'm like a ghetto kind of king, you know. Okay, you you're the street king. You are like a ghetto king. Okay, I, 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 <laughs> who, who produced this one? Uh, actually, like it was done by three different producers. Like uh, the first guy who did it was Gooden. He's the one who made the beat. Yeah, shout out to Gooden, he's a dope producer. Then uh, I recorded it with Lars, I've worked with him a couple of times. Okay. Then then it was mixed and mastered by Junior Stray. Okay, shout out to all the producers that were on this project because it's a number of them, three producers on one project. Uh, sorry, how about you introduce your song to the people of Radio City <coughs> right now? All right, um, everyone that's listening to Radio City right now, it's your boy Sparrow UG, and I'm introducing to you King of the Streets. King of the Streets is an awesome jam, and I want you guys to keep requesting for it. Uh, I want you guys to help me share the links on YouTube and stuff like that. And 
it's crazy because uh i'm gonna get the myth in the remix of this song and it's gonna be a dope joint the myth on the remix man we're gonna be talking about that when we get back this is funny music from sparrow ut track is called king of the streets we hang out with sparrow on sms radio city 97 from don't touch the dial SMS 97 FM Radio City with DJ Slaughter, Ellie and DJ Marco. Sparrow UG back in the building. Yes, sir. Uh, so, Sparrow, man, this is a dope track. Uh, tell me about how you want to link with uh, the meat and how... how you, first of all, you in, on, on this track you say you are around in Kampala for a while and then you have your new name and all those things. Must tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. It's uh, actually like the previous MTN Hip Hop Awards, the ones of uh, 2020, right? Uh, I came, I came through to Kampala. I got to meet the myth and Navio, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Then uh, I, I, I tried to get in touch with them a little bit. Then uh, the myth gave me his email. He just gave me his email. He didn't give me his contact like that. So like, uh, I sent him a bunch of tracks that I wanted to do with him, and he was like, "Yo, like, uh, you know, it's gonna be something that is so hype." But like, I kept sending him different tracks until, until this one. You know, he yeah. fell in love with it. Yes, I sent him the truck. So I sent him how I was flowing and stuff like that. It was like, yo, let's do this. Send me the full truck. And then when I did, like, he recorded his verse and was soon releasing it with a video. Oh, you, you want to release it with a video because I was about to ask you for some pieces of this one. Yeah, it's it's going to drop. And actually, I have a feeling that the remix is going to be bigger, you know, because, like, I, I trust the myth like that. And... Shout out to the myth, bro. He's like uh, a big brother figure that I never heard, you know? Yeah, man. He's introducing me to people that I never really met in the first place. You know, he's yeah. he's mentioning my name in places where he doesn't have to say my name, but he does it anyway. Like, I really respect him for that. And, and that always feels good. Uh, what, what do you think about uh, the, the, the big artist, you know, lending a hand or helping a hand to, you know, young artists? I feel like it's awesome because, like, I'll never forget what the myth has done for me, man. It's a it's a crazy industry. It's a harsh industry, and finding someone like that, like who wishes you well and tries to put you someplace, it's really awesome. Yeah. How much attention do you pay to like uh, the old artists that are that are in the game, that are around? You know, the Navios, the the, the meters, As you're writing, as you're doing your music, how much attention do you pay to them? Um, I respect them, and I look at what they're doing, and I see how they're doing it, and and try to emulate that, and. Because uh, I definitely have to be there at some point. So, like, I, I see how they're going through stuff. Like, most times, you know, even including the bad energy that they get on their Facebook pages, I look at how they respond to it, how they ignore it. and Because yeah. I feel like I'll get there at some point and I'll... That's, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing what you're saying. Just tricks and tips of moving in the industry, how you move and how you do everything and like that. Yeah, I, I pay attention to how they move. Like, it's really smart. Yeah, uh, as you know, as, as an artist, you know, as an urban artist, all the way in Kumi, in Eastern Uganda, how would you say, or how would you say the challenges you're facing in the hip hop music industry, in the music industry at large? I feel like the hip hop industry needs a lot of support in terms of money as well. Because, like, uh, when I look at the visuals outside the country, like, they're totally different and they're crazy, you know? So I feel like if we if we put out very good visuals and get a chance to collaborate with outside artists and even even the language, you know, if we could do more English raps, I feel like we could really sell out more, you know? Okay, you feel like if guys rap in English, they would sell out more? Yeah, yeah, I believe that. Okay, okay, I, I like the belief in that. But I, I don't think language is a matter, but it also helps, because it helps, you know, in people from different places to understand the message you're saying in the song, what to understand what you're actually saying about in the song. I, I, I like mm, that, man. Yeah, yeah, because, uh, like, when someone raps in English, even someone in South America can listen to it and be like, yo, he's trying to talk about this, you know? So, like, it's cool. Definitely, man. Uh, you know, we've, we've just been in the pandemic in a while back, yeah? Is there anything that changed, you know, before the pandemic and after the pandemic, after after about March, you know, is there anything that changed about Paru UG? I just became harder, man. Like I just, I just got used to like, yeah. I, I'm, I'm a harder guy now, you know. I, I, I you know, the COVID taught you a couple of one, two things. Yeah, like I've been through the worst already, and I feel like there's, there's nothing new. Like I just, it has taught me a lot, like how to move, how to endure, you know, everything. Uh, you know, uh, you, you talked about a point of, uh, you know, people investing in the music industry, and I feel like, man. 
People let they are asking for business uh, ideas here and, here and there, man. Invest in the music industry. I feel like there's, there's money here if guys properly invested in the artists, in the projects, in everything, man. Big up to man like Sparrow Yuji for joining us this evening, man. So, Thank Sparrow, you. Uh, you know, 2022 is, the second half of 2022 is, you know, it's just a minute away. Uh, mm -hmm. what's, what's on ground? You know, you've talked about the remix of King of the Street to the Man Like the Meat. What should we put our ears on the ground to? What should we hold up for? Um, I'd really like to put out that song with the myth and give give all my energy into pushing it because I feel like it's it's gonna it's gonna put me at a certain point and it's also gonna create a bridge between the the artists in Kampala and the artists in Eastern Uganda. You know, we're just trying to feel that we're just trying to create that bridge so that you know they can do music together. Like you know, it doesn't have to be a, a distance. Like it, I just want us to be one, like united, like that. Yeah, I, the music should uh, bridge the distance between uh, between us, man. Mm, yeah, there shouldn't be a Kampala artist and a Teso artist. Like, we yeah. should just all be one, you know? You know, t talking about Kampala, Teso and everything, uh, you know, they recently concluded the uh, Hip Hop Awards. Tell us a little bit about that, your experience. Um, It's a dope experience. Like, I really loved it because, like, they haven't been biased in any way. Like, they're, they're giving young artists uh, a platform like that. And it also brings artists together. Like when when you meet there, you interact, you exchange contacts and music ideas and stuff like that. So like, uh, it's it's a really dope experience being there. Like being nominated as an artist and winning and everything. Yeah, man, uh, I, I like that, man. Thank you for joining us this evening, man. Like Sparrow UG. Any last like, shoutouts you have to send out to the people locked in? Um. First of all, I want to thank you, man. Thanks, Ellie. Thank you so much. Like, it really means a lot when, when you know, when we get in touch like this and talk about the industry. Like, I really appreciate that. And thank you for the love, man. You big up to you for also having coming through and, you know, appreciating to, the, to have the call with us. You know, you'd rather be somewhere in Kumi, you know, doing something else, man. <laughs> no, no, no. This means a lot to me. This means the whole world to me. Like, this is my everything.